video concerns binomial testing of the probability of the outcome of some particular random variable. And I want to highlight the difference between false and true in the Excel function arguments. The situation is that we have a number of cockroaches and we're in a laboratory and they have a 23% chance of being uh, mutated after we give them a particular dose of radiation. Now notice the word particular dose which implies that we're going to give them the same dose and so the trials are identical. And the 0.23 is the long run P. Maybe we've done a lot of these tests and we know that there's a 23% chance of them suffering mutation. So that's the probability of success or failure perhaps if you're the cockroach. And 10 is the number of trials we're going to do. N is 10. P is 0.23. So here we've got the X is the random variable whose outcome, the probability of the success of this outcome, we want to calculate. So first of all, we're going to do with 0. That means that none of the 10 suffer any mutation. So equals binom dist, and I'm going to click on this, so the 0 goes in here, and then the number of trials is 10. The long run probability of success is 0.23. Then I'm going to put in false, because I want it to be exactly 0. So 0 0.073 is the probability of none of them suffering a mutation. Now I drag this down, and here I've got the probabilities of, this would be of exactly 5, exactly 6, exactly 2, exactly 8, 9, and 10. Probably this, I guess, would be, uh, we should increase the decimals. We might see something here. Yeah, there you go. If you increase the decimals, but for 10, that would mean exactly 10 of them suffering mutation, then the probability is extremely small. Now, we go here to, when we could do exactly the same thing, but we're going to put in true instead of false. And this means it's going to add up the probabilities as we go along. Nothing has changed. The probability is exactly the same, but now we type in true. So this probability is the same, isn't it? Let's, let's um, reduce the number of decimal places on that so that it's comparable. OK, so 0 is going to be the same because there's nothing to add up as we go along from the left. But as we go down, it's adding them up. So this means that the probabilities of 0, 1, 2, or 3 is 0.82. That means that 0.82 is the probability of fewer than 3. Are you with me? Fewer than 3, fewer than 4, sorry, fewer than 4 would be 3, 2, 1, and 0. Uh, here, 0.997 is the probability of 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. That means fewer than 6. Fewer than 6. So we could use this to get the probability of, let's say we wanted to get the probability of P of X greater than or equal to 6, for example. This is means at least 6, at least 6. So therefore, it doesn't count 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So this is a complement, isn't it? So if we went equals 1 minus, then all these things here, 1 minus this, 1 minus that, then we would get the probability of x is greater than 6. 
So notice the difference between the false and the true. The false gives the probability of exactly that random variable's probability of success. So here, for example, this is the probability of success. Three cockroaches suffer mutation. 0 0.986993 is the probability of fewer than six, fewer than six. So if we therefore we subtracted, going back to this question here, probability x is six or more. If we subtract that from one, then we're going to have that probability. So I've just done that. So 0 0.013167 is the probability of six, seven, 8, 9, or 10. That means that the x is greater than 6. Let's try that by adding together the false probabilities, and it should come to the same, shouldn't it? So we'll go down here, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10, and then add it up. And it's come to, no, it should not be a surprise. I'm glad it's come out that way. But uh, you can see here that those numbers are the same. And we can extend this by, if we wanted the probability of, let's say, uh, 5, 6, and 7, then we just subtract either side of those three numbers. So make sure you're clear on the idea between false and true. And recall that true adds up from the left, from 0 upwards. Thank you.